like creating Hatchet. What was it like creating Hatchet? <laughs> I was eight yeah. when I created it, so it was a lot like playing with Star Wars toys and doing my homework. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah, I was at summer camp, and uh, I came up with this story. And now, 30 years later, here I am at the premiere of the yeah, third right, one. Right. Yeah, but it's more more than just the success of the movie. That's like we we got together romantically because of this movie. We were friends. We were friends for a couple years, and then I asked her to model as young Victor Crowley in the makeup because she was a makeup artist. And then through that, we just, but I mean, now we're married and our three year wedding anniversary is next know, week. So bizarre. We've been together nine years, and yeah. all because of Hatchet. Because so, of Hatchet, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Did you guys ever think it would get this big? I mean, it's the third one, you know, there might be a fourth one. I, I hoped, I think we both hoped, yeah. but. You just, you never know. And like with each movie, you always have to accept, okay, this might be it. Um, and then the fans around the world just keep it going. But this one for me is where I get off. Like this is the finish line for me. Um, I, I support it if they want to move forward with a new Victor Crowley story. But the story that I set out to tell is now finished. It ends tonight. Ends tonight. And I know I'm scared of a lot of things, like like bugs. What are you guys scared of? <laughs> oh, I mean bugs. I mean, right? She, she'll yes. call me to come home to get a spider in like the in the shower or whatever. They're the worst. They're the worst, right? But I'm not. Oh. I'm not a very manly man. You know no, what I mean? Actually, like I'm, uh, I I basically wear the pants in the family. He is affected by everything, so he's scared of everything. Look, the dark, I I cry loud easily. Noises. E.T., my dog Skip. I mean, yeah. I can't see, look, I can't even talk about E.T. Oh I my start God, crying. Look at you. You're going to cry on a red carpet. It's ridiculous. It wouldn't be the first time. Married to this one. Married to him. Yeah. You guys are so adorable. Wait, what are you guys doing for your anniversary? We Hopefully seeing each other. He's, he's been working so hard on Hatchet 3 and uh, his uh, TV series, Holliston, that I, I, I don't, maybe we'll meet. Again. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Rylea. You are beautiful. Uh, you're pretty. You're not bad yourself. Thank you. You're pretty. Yeah, I think we're probably just gonna lay low and just be together, which will be, which will nice. be nice. Like I'm, I'm going on a little vacation on Sunday, and I'm going to my parents, like literally to just sit and be babied by my mom and fed chicken soup, and because that's just what I need right now. I've been awake for two, two years two or years. so. Yeah. Um, and then she's so busy with her Team Unicorn project, and they just got their yeah. TV show picked up by Adult Swim, yeah. and so she's producing so that, she's acting really in it. Busy. Yeah. yeah. And what's that centered around? Uh, basically, it's it's kind of like a, um, it's like Powerpuff Girls meets Voltron meets My Little Pony. It's a lot of awesome stuff rolled into one. So it'll be Adult Swim. Uh, so it's geared more towards adults, but it'll be animated and live action. It'll be a hybrid. And you're directing it? Uh, acting in, created it, producing it. Yeah. Yeah. So proud. Ah! I know. Do you think he's going to get a, a little spot in it? Yeah, am I going to have a walk on or something? Like, I could act like a Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He just, he totally just did that, didn't he? Wait. <laughs> he's sexy. And, and you know, after directing this movie, well, creating this movie, what would you do if a monster was after you? I would Run climb really, a tree. You, why would you climb a tree? He could chop it down. I've, if we've learned, if we've learned anything from the Hatchet series, it's if you climb a tree, he won't get you. In the first one, Marcus climbed a tree and he was safe. He was fine, and that's true. He could chop it down, but you will see him coming. The whole, if you stay on the ground, he could come from anywhere and grab you. I would climb a tree if it was like Michael Myers or Jason or even Victor Crowley. Climb a tree, but I also wouldn't go in the haunted swamp in the first place. Yeah, I would stay out. Yeah, what would you would just run really fast? That was your. I mean, I was pretty fast in high school. I was faster than all the boys, so I think I could beat him. But a, a, a good serial killer, especially a ghost like Victor Crowley, can just appear right in front of you. Yeah, so he can appear at your tree and cut it down. Down there. He can't appear in the tree. If there is There are rules to this. He appears, he's oh. on the ground. He's not going to appear and suddenly be like, oh, whoa, this is like, and it'll fall right Why out. Why not? Just because we haven't seen it doesn't make it true. Climb a tree. Well, I guess we'll have to like a bear. I don't know. Monsters or bears. Just climb a tree. Yes. I guess so. God, you guys are so funny. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. And happy anniversary. Well, almost. Yeah, almost. almost anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you.